Sean, I'm feeling kind of chilly right now, but you said that summer may still be on the way for me. So what do you got for me? Oh. We have more summertime. Hang on. It's coming, but it does feel like fall. We've only had 72 for a high today. That's fall. And of course, late last week, the weekend was very, very fall like with temperatures in the low 70s. Some places didn't even get out of the 60s last weekend, but that's going to change. The weekend is going to be a pretty typical summer August weekend. It's not going to be obnoxious, but it's going to feel just the way it's supposed to this time of year. Let's take a look at what's going on. Outside right now, we have a cloudy sky, a few sprinkles moving through. Our temperature is at 72. That is our high for the day. Southeast wind at 17 and that dew point at 65. So there is a bit of mugginess in the air and that moisture is going to get squeezed out over the next couple of days as our next system begins to move in. A little more rain to our southwest, keeping temperatures a bit cooler around Slayton and Worthington in the upper 60s. Esterville, 68. Blue Earth at 74. We're at 72 in Mankato, St. Peter, 73. Redwood Falls at 71 degrees and you can see that rain. We have a few sprinkles around the Mankato area, a little bit of light rain, Fairmont to Worthington and uh, some pretty good showers falling across parts of northern Iowa here early this afternoon. Rain amounts uh, have not been great, but uh, over in Spencer, Iowa, 26 hundredths, just over a quarter inch, Algona, 11 hundredths in Esterville, six hundredths of an inch. We've had three hundredths down in Laverne, Marshall and Worthington, just a trace of rain and that's just the beginning because we have more on the way that's going to come in later this afternoon but especially late tonight and tomorrow showers and scattered thunderstorms are likely we have a low sitting over northeastern nebraska that's going to slide northeastward as we make our way through the day and into the nighttime hours tonight and uh, the good news is the timing is actually kind of nice here as we head into the weekend notice there is very little going on back here, and that's what's going to be rolling in Saturday, Sunday. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will be seasonal, and uh, there'll be a little humidity, so it'll feel just like it's supposed to feel in uh, August here in southern Minnesota, northern Iowa. Rain amounts could be heavy, and this is my biggest concern. I'm really not concerned about a lot of severe weather with this system, but there could be some locally heavy rain, one to two inches or more. I don't think it's going to be anything terribly excessive, but there could be a couple of places that do get that two plus inch range. It's not going to be a lot of places, but a couple could. The severe risk, again, generally low hail and wind, the main threat as we make our way through this afternoon into tonight. So here we go through this afternoon into the evening hours. Scattered showers will continue to develop and move through. We'll get a little bit of a break and then we have more rain and showers later tonight. Here we are at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. And then a few more scattered showers and thunder showers will develop tomorrow in the afternoon into the evening. Once we get through tomorrow, all of this should wind down, and that's going to lead us into a nice weekend. 74 afternoon showers, thunder showers today, some locally heavy rain. It will become a bit breezy, too. South wind gusting to 30 later. 68 tonight, tomorrow showers, thunderstorms, 77 Friday, 76. A good looking weekend with upper 70s to low 80s and that trend is going to continue well into next week. So some pretty nice stuff coming up here. It's going to feel just like it's supposed to in August. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. This 10 day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.